Hi there and welcome back. So let's take a look at the traumatic disorders as it relates to the nervous system. So the first one comes is cerebral concussion. So there is a temporary brain dysfunction that is the loss of consciousness after injury usually clearing within 24 hours. There is no evidence of structural damage to the brain tissue. Severe concussions may lead to coma. What's important to note here is it is temporary, generally won't last beyond 24 hours. And there is no fracture or no structural damage. That is concussion. Whereas contusion is bruising of brain tissue as a result of direct trauma to the head. A neurological deficit persists longer than 24 hours and this usually results in a fracture of the skull. Subdural and epidural hematomas can occur and can lead to permanent brain injury or epilepsy. So concussion and contusion. Concussion is a disturbance of the brain function. Okay? And this typically happens while playing football. So uh, the signs and symptoms are out there, but this is when the brain moves inside the skull from an impact. The force from the impact causes the brain to strike the inner surface of the skull and can rebound against the opposite side. That's concussions. And unfortunately, you haven't yet recovered from the first one and there is a, a second incident. So it may lead to the second impact syndrome. And again, we have reviewed this slide multiple times. But because as it relates to traumatic brain injury, depending upon the location, uh, there is a malfunction your, because of injury, accident, concussion or contusion. You see that these are impaired and that can be correlated with signs and symptoms. So you could have a mild or moderate to severe. The mild traumatic brain injury could lead to headache or dizziness or uh, some issues in your vision, whereas moderate to severe may have seizures to coma, you name it. So one may have traumatic brain injury that may lead to post-concussion post syndrome and sometimes unfortunately if the second impact syndrome happens, that could be really fatal. And there are different data out there that our underwriters like, so uh, that is for them. What can be the leading causes of traumatic brain injury? Besides playing football, uh, the falls, assaults, uh, struck by or against, some unknown, some other residuals, and besides that, motor vehicle is one of the leading cause of traumatic brain injury. Uh, the treatment goes from resting well to not playing for a while, limiting your activities and things like that. Uh, listen and follow up with your doctor, uh, limited exposure to drugs is instructed by the doctor, things like that. Therapy has a variety of benefits. So therapy is something that may last for months to years depending upon how mild, how moderate or how severe uh, the traumatic brain injury is. Uh, that the doctor and the surgeon uh, looking at your overall health, they will determine. And of course, last but not least, um, if necessary, nothing else works, then surgery may have to be done. So that's all I have on this one. Um, We'll move on when we meet again. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.